says core economic issues are essential. I think that is what you know the, the party will be focusing more on, not to the exclusion of other issues, but I think we neglected uh, some of those issues. As to who will be the standard bearer, it's a long way off. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, on the um, issue of uh, Israel, it goes back to the end and, and peace. Uh, it goes, number one, let me start at basic principles. I, I do agree that it should be a priority, an important part of U.S. policy to try to achieve peace uh, between Israel and Palestine. I believe in a two-state solution, and I need, we believe we need to facilitate uh, that uh, process. Uh, I do not believe in um, stopping U.S. military support for Israel. I think that they're, you know, they, uh, they, <laughs> they still live in a very rough neighborhood with lots of adversaries, and I think that uh, we're in a better position to facilitate peace with Israel if they're if they feel af absolutely confident in their military security. And I, so I don't think that 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 kind of leverage would would be successful and so I, no, I don't, I don't uh, support that. Um, with respect to the legislation that you referenced, um, I'm hoping, you know, uh, I, I think the ACLU has raised some really important points uh, about this and my interpretation of that legislation is that uh, it, go, it, it does things that um, the sponsors say were not intended uh, in terms of the bill. Uh, because I don't think you should, uh, any individual, I don't think any American, for example, should be you know, threatened with fines or imprisonment for expressing their views in the form of, uh, in, whether in the form of an economic, participating in economic uh, actions uh, with respect to Israel. So I do not, certainly I do not support that uh, uh, bill, certainly in its current form, and I'm so further. So that, but I, but I do believe that we need to, we need as a, I do believe we need to get back to, you know, I, I wish I could see um, a strategy to complement the intentions expressed uh, by President Trump, because I, I do think that the situation, um, as you know, Shibley and many others have pointed out, the, you know, we, we keep talking about a two-state solution, which I believe is the only viable solution, but, Every day that goes by, we know that that solution gets harder and harder. And I, you know, I strongly believe it's in the interests of both the Palestinians and Israel to quickly develop that kind of solution. And uh, hopefully, we can get back on track. Hopefully, one day we'll get there. Um, and I know that uh, you, you've supported uh, a, a peaceful, equitable resolution for a long time. And hopefully, one day it'll happen. Now, um, I think you all uh, could see uh, if you haven't already seen why uh, I invited uh, Senator Van Hollen. Uh, I don't, I really can't think of another congressional leader who masters the varieties of foreign policy and domestic issues that you do, and, uh, and has been uh, thoughtful about them throughout your career. And you've served our state well, you've served our campus well, you've certainly served our country well. And thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.